So this is just a quick video, um, basically an update on diet, calories I'm on, supplements I'm on, training, my splits, how I train, etc. Just while I'm cooking some food. Um, basically, the calories I'm on, on at the moment is about 4,200. I do have one day where... Um, I kind of wriggle it around a bit, might have less, might have more, um, and basically my training, I'm training four days a week, and then four days are back and bicep, chest and triceps, shoulders and legs, the fourth session will be normally back and chest, or back and legs. Or chest and legs um, just because they're kind of lacking areas um, the way I've been training is um, I've been doing compound lifts first so like back for suggestions I do say I do rack pulls and then rows etc etc I do the compound ones first go heavy as I can with them for a good amount of reps I normally aim for about five or six but um, the Monday just gone um, I was testing my one rep max um, got a 190 rack pull um, need to get my deadlift up again um, so yeah I do a, what is it probably about two or three compound then isolation I only do about six exercises. Um, with the isolation, it might end up being more sets and more reps because um, I'm just going for the burn, blood into the muscle and the pump. And with the compound, um, I kind of go up to a weight where I'm getting good weight, good reps, and then go back down. Um, Rack pulls I've been doing a lot of lately is um, drop set for the last couple. Um, so I'll basically on like Monday I may have went up to 190 kg. From that 1k 190 kg, I had a rest, and then I went drop set from 190 down to. 20, 20 or 10 on each side sometimes I even go to nothing just to get that um, contraction and can get get a pump get everything um, and get get work in the muscle um, yeah so that's what my training kind of goes like um, I'm going to incorporate bench press again soon just because I wasn't really feeling it um, my chest work workouts are normally a lot of flies and if I do it a second time like I have been lately I do more pressing but um, Dave Crosland has put a video um, on Facebook and I'm going to start trying to do that just because purely he helped me with my arms my arms have grew since his help so he's the man to go to for that sort of thing and yeah, calories are about 4,200. Um, one day I do go down or up. Um, the supplements I'm, cu I'm using currently. Two seconds, I just got a food. Sorry, I thought my food was going to burn. Um, the, the supplements I'm currently using at the moment are. I'll just go get, uh, get some. So. These are some of the supplements. I've got a protein bag, but we all know what protein bags look like. And at the moment, I'm just using a protein 20 cent quid, 5 kilogram bag, peanut, um, peanut something. Right, I'm using maldextrin at, um, if I'm lacking in carb, I need to hit my carbs, or before I go training, I'm using creatine 
everyone knows creatine, 5 grams to 10 grams a day. Vascumax, one of the best pump products I've used. This is the pro version. This is cherry cola. My best flavor is strawberry kiwi, but they didn't have it when I reordered it. So, to get the product, I've gone with this. It's not too bad. I use that pre-workout. On the way to the gym, I'll just drink that with my multidextrin. Creatine, I'm using Glycomax. Um, the way I've st I started using it, where I was using three tablets with my highest carb meal, two with my other carb meal. But what I've started doing, um, when I spoke to Richard, um, and I've been testing my body how it reacts, is what I'll do is, with my carb meals, I will do two tablets with every one, up to about six or seven tablets through the day and that is the best product with this for having the best bulk this time purely because of the body recomposition blood sugar levels so you don't spike when you have a high carb meal it's what I put down to is staying leaner and having good growth and keeping the composition, improving it massively. And I've been using ash, I never say it, ash, ashwagandha, which is was advertised the same from. Strong sports um, and I've been basically using two tablets a day purely for the stress side of it um, it's mostly for endurance athletes and there is a lot of research behind it um, I find it helps me massively with stress levels just because if you know me I have got um, PTSD depression um, I haven't got anxiety anymore. I used to have that. So this, along with um, currently medication I'm on, work well together. And that's it. I use a green powder now and again, just because my veg and fruit isn't the greatest. The rest is just food. Um, and obviously I shake. I will have a higher shake sometimes, um, just oats, whatever. Um, but training's going really well. Well, if, if you can see from just me sitting here how I'm looking. Um, so I'm really happy with it. But what I'm thinking to... Um, have longevity with this bulk um, that's what everyone calls it but surplus of calories um, is have mini cups um, kind of discussed with one or two people who I've done my personal training course with etc like that about um, how many weeks I should do bulking um, and then how many to do cutting um, I'm just trying to figure that out at the moment um, just to try and keep the fat gains to a minimal and get the most out of it really um, but yeah it's going really well um, to be honest with bulks I never really struggle um, I just struggle with the fat side the, the